Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how you can use that a particle JS in your application. Now you see that particles is moving and also whenever I'm scrolling like hovering on it, it's giving a repulse reaction. So those things I'm gonna create and also I'm gonna show you how you can get the effect on a grab option also. So now we're gonna use that react TS particles. And if you come over in NPM, you can find all the things, whatever is necessary. And we are like, if you are using only in the HTML file, you can get the JavaScript support. And we're gonna use the JavaScript, the object to one for our today's build in our React application. If you're using the TypeScript, feel free to use this portion, okay? And for also the designing purpose, if you want a several kind of thing, you can come over here, their homepage in TX particles. And now you can see the different kind of design, how it's really work and how meaningful it can be. And also you can export the actual value from here and then you can extract and just keep in your application as the way you want to like. And also there is several positions, several uh, websites there which can help you throughout the particle JS. Feel free to explore that. So first of all, I already implemented one application and I started running it in my local host 3000. What I did, I just initialized my Tailwind CSS as you see after making that npx create react app that I create as a particle JS. And now I initialize my, now everything is a uh, brand new after installing that uh, uh, Tailwind CSS. So first of all, I need to create that entire, because you see it's the uh, screen height I'm giving because only we're gonna learn about that portion, how you can use that particle JS in your banner option. So let's create that other things. So first of all, let's create in the source, we're gonna create a components. Mm components and now what you're gonna do we're gonna create one file which will call as a name of design.js refce so that design will contain our particles now in the app as you see this portion is as a background so we need to get that image as a background and to do that what you're gonna do we need to initialize like we, we will grab that image as a background for our application and to do that, there's a so many way, but uh, in Tailwind, it's a very limited way to do that. First of all, let's go to our Tailwind config, and in here, in extend, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take as a background image, and now, inside an object, I'm gonna give a name of it, it will be banner bg, and in here, we need to type the URL, and I'm gonna close it and inside that URL it's already in like it will be inside the public folder and the name will be banner bg.jpg so now we can access that image in our application in our app uh, app.js as a background so if we go over here just let's go and grab some class name which will be we will be full and add you I told you before I'm gonna keep as a height of the screen and the BG will be banner BG after saving maybe we'll be able to see you see our background is banner background and also as you see it's not fully coming some portion is missing what are you gonna do BG it will be uh, no repeat and also BG will be center and we also make the bg cover so you feel free to go with each and every class name now you see all our image portion is available and we can see everything better and also by default what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give a text of white by default all the text will be white in here now we have that one and first of all we are not requiring that one anymore so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna create another div and inside that div I'm gonna take our design component which we create okay so now it's time to create our all of the particles and to create the particles let's implement that one it needs to be installed okay so first of all I will go through the documentation so you can go and uh, read 
every time it's about those and you will understand it better so let's implement and import all of these it will be inside our design and here as you see we already implement that react uh, ts particles if you go over here you will see that is a react ts particles but also we need to install that one that loadful we are using from the ts particles so what i'm gonna do and pmi and we will install that one too now after doing that what we need to do we need to create that portion I can go one by one in manually but I'm just gonna copy that it's just uh, giving me the particles engine from there so now I have that particles in it and particles are loaded so it's ready to implement and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get and extract all of it okay okay yeah till here and now in here I'm gonna just paste it and after pasting it you're gonna see my particles yeah the particles is available but we lose our background because we are giving now here the value we can put as the background over here but I want to keep the background in my page so I can modify so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna giving a color from here so either I can remove it but uh, I'm not gonna remove it I'll just put in comment and it will be uh, just fine you see our particles is ready I'm not gonna keep background outside I'm gonna just keep the value outside so it will be easy to track now this is our thing is working just fine but you see little bit uh, different is that one so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab my previous one as uh, some of the modification I did on it so feel free you can uh, okay that's the one so I'm gonna just change the particle oops uh, I believe I made a mistake again I need to grab the whole particles okay it's the same thing what I did I just changed some of the colors as you come over here I change in the FM's uh, limit which I give a uh, FPS limit I give a uh, 60 and also I uh, give the distance of 150 and if you just go previous one and also I area I give a bigger area previously it was 800 I give a uh, 1200 and also I give a ma uh, min minimum uh, the circle with size will be one and max will be two like if I just give it uh, eight you will see the pulse rate it will be bigger see so I gave it a 2 and that looks better now here I want you to understand one more thing we can make it also as a grab like uh, whenever we are hovering on it like now what you see here uh, there is a mood is repulse so let's uh, comment on this and we're gonna give a mood which will be grab it will grab an entire direction and also if we come over here you see it's grab it's, it's not giving us the actual grab and to do that to implement that one see here is the repulse we also need to implement our grab option here it will be like a grab and then we need to put inside an object and in the object we'll give a distance and the distance will be like 300 and by by the way it's like it's work like as a picture uh, pixel so feel free to type in a different value and the opacity which will be 0 0.5 now you see it's grabbing so the grab also work it's fully grabbing and it looks perfect now we don't want to use the grab we will use the rip ripples uh, so I'm just removing that one if you want a grab you can keep the grab so now what we need to do we need to create a header and all other things but you see these things like what I want to do it actually in the abjs that deep I'm gonna give some class name for it it will be like with full and the height will be a screen and it will be absolute deep and first of all because I'm gonna make it absolute only in the app I'm gonna make it relative and the top will be zero and the left will be zero so now that div is absolute now I can keep all other things over here first thing first let's go and create another folder uh, sorry another file 
which will contain our header.js, our AFCE, our header is ready. So let's close this, this, and this. So now inside our app, we can keep it down. Now I'm gonna create another div, and inside that div, I'm gonna get our header, and it's not giving me auto import. So header from components, and it will be header. I believe it will work just fine. Yeah, our header is ready. So what I'm gonna do in our apps, uh, the the one we just now created where is over there here i'm gonna give some width max width it will be like if you give the class name and the max width will be um, i'm gonna give a six axle and mx will be auto so it will be in the middle now as you see this looks perfect so now in the header see uh i'm gonna delete uh cut that one we have a three portion you see this portion is it will be your logo that portion the home tab and that portion will be like emergency emailing or something same way in the banner also there will be two portion one and two so this portion we need to create and it's very simple and easy first of all what we need to do as we are going to create it in the in our header what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take in the header I'm gonna take three div okay and the first div which gonna be contain our h1 tag with contain that particles i'm just giving i'm not trying to make a redesign so much i'm just gonna make it simple see our particles available so what i'm gonna do in our top level of the div i'm gonna just go and grab some class name and that class name will contain First of all, the width, full text, white. Uh, even I'm not giving it will work. PY10. I'm making the flex justify between because the three D will act, be action, and then the border portion. And also inside that div, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go and grab the UL. Feel free to go and type the way you like because I don't want to waste the time on it. So now you see giving a gap and text as a small and you see our that portion is ready. You feel free to make some design, hover design or some other part the way you like. And also in our last portion for that, I'm gonna just go and grab one button. And you see our header is perfect. So as a header is done, now it's time to create our banner. And for the banner, same way, let's create another file, banner.js rafce as the snippet and if you want the snippet to work feel free to go over here and install i believe that uh, not the tailwind that for the tailwind intelligence css intelligence and also for that one i think i mm, es es6 es7 yeah es7 react redux snippet if you install that one, then RFC it will work. And RFC, RFC it bothers. It's not the same. It's a different kind of it's a making the uh, like the functional components. So now let's go to our app. In here, I'm gonna get my banner. My auto import is not working. What's wrong? Oops, it's not working. So just let's import that one. Import banner from components, and it will be banner i believe our banner yeah banner is now available so after having that banner what you need to do i'm gonna do the same thing because there will be like a two portion in the banner so close the header and in banner i'm gonna take two div and also what i'm gonna do in the top level of the banner I'm gonna go and give that class name because it will be weightful and the uh, justify will be between and items will be center. Inside the first div, what I need to do, I need to give that a first text which will be spreading wings of technology and you see it just a little bit of uh, text uh, design is there so it's working just fine. And after that, there will be another h1 tag and that h1 tag containing one uh, span tag which will, uh, and also see I'm just giving it in a in a like lower level using the break tag you can use that one so see after that portion is going to be down 
and after that also what I'm gonna do I'm gonna generate a, a one P tag and one a button tag which will give me that design now see so after having that now everything is pixel perfect it's ready now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just go in the top level of that div containing everything I'm gonna just go and give some class name it will be like a flex and the flex it will be in the column portion so flex call and the gap will be six and after giving that you see little bit a gapping over here that's working fine and now we need to have an one image now I have only one image from the assets so I'm not gonna create that index.js file to import export everything from there so what I'm gonna do import banner IMG from it will be assets and it will be the name will be banner .png. so now I have that image and what I'm gonna do in here I will take an image tag and in the source let's give that banner IMG after giving that you see now our design is ready now you can give a little more a hectic things if you like and you see now it's it's a very simple design because i created that one to let you understand how you can implement that uh, actual that uh, particles in your application you know to uh, make the grab and other things i think it may help you to create your application in a, a very dynamic way to so feel free go to other like uh, ts particles and other uh, website which uh, man maintaining that particles feel free to discover more and you see there is also like it's giving all the uh, corresponding elements for the react you can get everything from here just feel free to go i'll give the uh, link in the description below and you can find free to uh, learn more about uh, that uh, ts particles okay uh, i think it can help you see you in the next video